discuss application and the simulation of active fault current limiter. So first we discuss what is fault current. Fault current is nothing but when there is a short circuit in our line or an overheated or short circuit. So there is a huge current increases which can damage our appliances and damage our systems also. So in this model, we model a MATLAB model of fault current limiter. So how to limit this fault current? So we model this. So first we discuss about the circuit diagram. Circuit diagram, we have the two voltage sources. The first voltage source is called Vs and second voltage source is Vsec. So now one by one we discuss everything. First, Vs is AC voltage source. AC voltage source. So in this project we discuss about the fault current. So we put we give the Vs so one by one. We discuss all the parameters which is included in our model. First, Vs. Vs is is nothing but is AC voltage source. See that, and Vsec is AC voltage source on the second. Transformer. We have we already know the transformer has the two windings. First one is primary winding, and second one is the secondary winding. We have the primary. We have the two L1 and L2. We will discuss this. Z is a source impedance. This is a ZS, and Z is a load impedance. U1 is a primary voltage of transformer. U2 is a secondary voltage of transformer. L1 is a self impedance of the primary winding, and L2 is a self impedance secondary winding of transformer mh is nothing but is a mutual induction between the two windings we all know transformer works on the electromagnetic field of theory of inductions so we have that i1 is a primary current and i2 is a secondary current we also have the z as a system frequency and we have the system frequency we have the omega omega system frequency which is equal to 2 pi into system frequency. We always know the system frequency or over our country is 50 hertz. So we use it at 50 hertz. So now one by V has a Vs is equal to Vsec is equal to 230. It is a root 2. It is a root 2 sine omega t, which is where the system frequency is 50. We have Zs, this, this is the ohm, Zl, L1, L2, M1. You have one question like what is the value of V1? or vs so in the circuit we check the current or fault current so we put vs equal to zero and this side will be open okay we in order i use the matlab r 2020 so first we click on the symbling so after that clicking on the symbling we have the blank we, we need a blank model so just click on this and wait So now we have the model. We need a library, so we click on the library browser. And this model I use a MATLAB R twenty twenty A. So first we click on the symlink. We just wait for. So after that clicking on the symlink, we have the blank. We we need a blank model. So just click on this and wait. Model. So now we have the model. We need a library, so we click on the library browser. Just now we have a library, so one by one we take our all on. So first we need a transformer. You can directly search, or another way you just go. Inkscape, Inkscape, electrical. I always prefer to use directly search company. I just want a transformer, so I just click on the transformer and press enter. Wait for a minute. So you see there is a step variable transformers like ideal transformer, three winding transformer. For in this surgery we need a one phase or ideal transformer. We need a mutual inductor. Why not ideal transformer we need a mutual inductor? Because we the transformer we use we have we need a mutual inductor or mutual transformer. So we want a AC voltage source. So 
Now we have AC voltage source. Now we want the impedance. So just click and type inductor or just search on foundation library electrical electrical elements. So we want the inductor. Just wrap up. We want the lecture references also. Now we want sensor. So we want a sensor. We want the voltage sensor. For calculating the current and the voltage of the circuit. Okay. Now we want a scope. For the common usually block use blocks and we want a scope. Just wait. Now no, we have a scope. So just you think you think that this not connect because this system to produce always a symbol. Physical signal, so always at a simple signal. To the PS signal block, just search S. We want a PS signal block. We want a PS signal converter. We just click and tap and drop. It. Now we connect the blocks one by one. One to one. We want the secondary voltage source. We the inductor. This is the voltage source. So for rotating, we I always use R to rotate the component. Click on the component and control R. For copy the component, just control C and wait, just control V. So I want a D impedance. I just want a two more inductor here. Just wait. Click here the all the conductor. Just control R. All the components circuit one by one. Just click. It's very easy. Fun of mat in heavens. I'm going to block. All we will do is electrical reference and now we can control R. Most important part mat mat in scape is solver. Solver is a very important part of the MATLAB model. Never forget to connect solver. Solver configuration. Connect. 
solver configuration. Solver configuration blocks all the way using thin scale model. Now we want a pure mode. So I so or I use TS switch block. I use TS standard. We want a TS switch block just that and block. You can zoom in, zoom out to your mouse. Just scroll up and scroll down. You can zoom in, zoom out. Give the parameters to our system so you see just click which is called a v1 or primary voltage slow take amplitude to zero because this is an open circuit and this is also zero frequency is 50 and that's just the three is all the parameters you see vs vs secondary is nothing but the 230 into root 2 sin 30, we use a 50 hertz and ZS, ZS, terminal 2 is 20 milli henry and M is a 96 milli henry. Just click. You see, I keep the all the parameters in milli henry. This one is 20 milli henry, I'll do the 20 henry. The coefficient of coupling is 0.8. And what is the coupling coupling? Coefficient coupling is equal is nothing but we we need the cal uh, the equation. This is the M is equal to under root K energy. We have the L1, we have the L2, we have the M, so we can directly calculate the coupling, which is called K zero minus just okay. now inductor one by one. I'll be the parameter. You see the parameter for ZS. I give the all the parameters for to our circuit. It is a ZS name to circuit. Just click it and give the name is ZS and enter. And second one is ZL. ZL. And we also have that secondary or secondary side impedance that ES. We also have a second voltage source which is here. Just tap and drop. Just click. This is your final. Just click. Is B now we submit the we save our project just click on the save button just run simulation just click on the run button first uh, my project is compiled and my project is now come to my project wait for some minute and you see our project is compiled the compile is nothing but a check the all the requirements and all there is a no error and there any warning to give to us and then check then my project will be so we wait for uh, our output to current click on the scope get over the current here our <coughs> result can see there is a huge increase in current. This is called the volt current. 